One of the side effects of being really obsessed with coffee is that your friends and family will give you tons of coffee gifts. And today I have a review that was a gift from my good friends, Brian and Son, who we'll call Brun or Cyan. And they got me a bag of literally shit. And no, I'm not kidding. This is, um, if you've heard of Kopi Luwak, this is kind of the same premise. It's coffee that was shit out by a weasel. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how I can, I mean, it's not funny. To be honest, I don't condone this type of thing. I think, you know, the elephant coffee shit, the cat coffee shit, and this weasel coffee poop is really not um, very ethical. Uh, and to charge such outrageous prices for such a thing uh, is just it's the cherry on top. So you wouldn't believe how much this cost. I mean, Sun was going on about how Brian was the sucker here and got ripped off, but 10 grams of coffee for $10. And it came with this pretty funny, unrelated story <laughs> um, where it goes on, I don't know, it's like using some analogy that has to do with the movie The Bucket List with Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman. And it's talking about how they're doing all these great things and enjoying life despite um, being almost on their way out. And then at the very end it says, enjoy weasel coffee, the best taste and most expensive coffee in the world. Done. Discover the most happiness before it's too late. Done. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll show that to you later. But anyway, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to have any expectations, even though I'm literally going to be drinking poop right now. <laughs> I'll keep an open mind, and I think that I'm going to probably brew this with a fin. Seems only appropriate since this coffee is coming from Vietnam. So uh, 10 grams really isn't a lot to work with, but I think that should get me one, hopefully, good cup of coffee. So I'll be right back with that. So I'm gonna use a hand grinder for this because Vero suggested I do so. And I always listen to my significant other. So here's that funny little blurb here. You only live once, so why not enjoy life? The plan was decided by two old men with cancer. Stay in the same hospital room, and they've received the same bad news. One is cranky billionaire, Jack Nicholson, and the other is scholarly mechanic, Morgan Freeman. They both set up a list to enjoy their life. What do you do before you die? Or what to do before you die? And carry out a trip around the wonderful world to come in for their wonderful life. Skydiving? Done. Race around the track with the Shelby Mustang? Done. Look at the greatest pyramid of Pharaoh? Done. Enjoy Weasel Coffee? The best taste and most expensive coffee in the world? Done. Discover the most happiness before it's too late? Done. Well, let's hope that this coffee delivers happiness and not severe diarrhea. Okay, so... It looks like mummified coffee beans. Mm, smells pretty chocolatey. Surprisingly, I can't can't lose too many of these because they're probably about twenty five cents a bean. Kind of like a popcorn flavor. Very little density. It's almost like bean casings.
So I imagine that this is gonna grind very easily. All right, so I'm gonna brew this bad boy next to Jack Nicholson's face because I think that makes it funnier. Look at all of these. You know what to describe it, just coffee skin. I kind of want to sift that out, but I'm just going to do it as is. Screw it. Okay. So there it is. The weasel poop coffee. It actually doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would. Using a Vietnamese in here. And need some water, some hot water. All right, here we go. So are you guys as excited as me to try, or at least vicariously try, this weasel poop coffee? First impression is that the aroma is pretty earthy. Almost nutty, I would describe. It doesn't smell like feces, which is good. Whether it tastes like feces is to be determined. Hmm. You know, it's not bad. It doesn't taste bitter or anything. It almost reminds me of something that's closer to tea. Yeah, pretty surprisingly pleasant. Not really a lot of complexity, but I would describe it as pleasant mouth mouthfeel. It's not very silty or leaving anything nasty lingering in the, in the mouth. It's got a, a pretty smooth body. Albeit kind of thin. But yeah, I, I wouldn't say that this is the best coffee in the world. I wouldn't say it's the worst coffee in the world either, but not too bad. Um, definitely not worth the price. So Brian, you definitely got played on that one, but interesting. It's got a unique flavor that I've never had before in a cup of coffee. Um, could have to do with this region of the world. I don't drink a lot of countries. Uh, I don't drink a lot of coffee from, um, Asian countries. Uh, Indonesia comes to mind as one of the only other Asian countries that I've tried coffee from and this kind of seems to fit that theme with, with those earthy elements but not like super overly roasted. It's very mellow. So there you have it. I don't even remember what it's called, uh, but I'm just gonna refer to it as weasel shit coffee. And it doesn't taste like shit. So if you are ever in Vietnam, you can get it for less money than what 
our poor friend Brian bought it for. But um, I yeah, give it a try. It might be a fun little gift for somebody too, and it will at least give them a good laugh. But then again, if you're not down with having people treat poor weasels this way, then I would steer clear of it. So that's up to you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next review.